Hello students, today we are going to learn about memory and storage and the topic we are going to cover is memory storage, internal memory, external memory and portable storage devices. Human has the capability to think, though a computer cannot think of its own, yet it has more storage capacity than a human brain. CPU is known as the brain of the computer as it controls all the information it receives through the input unit and store it in its memory. A computer uses both short-term and long-term memory to store data or information. However, with the passage of time, humans tend to forget things, but a computer can retain the stored data for years. This data can be retrieved from the computer's memory whenever required. What are bits and byte? A computer can understand only two states, on and off, where one represents the on state and zero represents the off state. These two digits, zeros and ones, are called binary digits or bits. That is, all the numerical numbers are represented by only zeros and ones. The data is stored in the computer memory in the form of bits and is measured in bytes. Therefore, data can be either stored temporarily or permanently depending upon the capacity of the memory used. A computer memory is classified into two types, internal memory and external memory. RAM and ROM are the types of internal memory, whereas hard disk, flash drive, memory card, CD, DVD are the types of external memory. Now what is an internal memory? Internal memory is also called primary memory or main memory. This memory unit is already fixed inside the computer system. The data stored in internal memory is erased when the computer is turned off. Therefore, it is always easier to access data or programs from the internal memory as it is the fastest of all the forms of computer data storage. Now we will study about two types of primary memory that is RAM and ROM. RAM Random Access Memory It stores the data temporarily and works like a blackboard that can be constantly overwritten with the new data. That means once the data is written on the memory or stored in the memory, it can be changed according to the needs. The information stored in the memory is lost when you switch off your computer. That means, take an example, it is like a calculator where information exists till the calculator is on. The moment you turn off your calculator, all the data disappears. The second type of internal memory is ROM, read-only memory. It holds the startup instruction that prepares a computer for use. That means it consists of programs that check the proper working of all the computer parts when you turn on a computer. Therefore, the instructions stored in ROM cannot be changed but can only be read. Let's take an example. ROM is like an audio disc that can be played but we cannot record anything on it except in a few selected circumstances. What is external memory? In this memory, we can store information for a longer period of time. Data is not lost in this external memory even when the computer is turned off. External memory is essential for a computer because the internal memory of a computer has a limited storage capacity. Therefore, it is also known as the secondary memory. Now we will study our next topic that is portable storage devices. Portable storage devices are those devices which can be easily attached or detached from a computer system according to our use and memory storage. 
Now, let's talk about some of the portable storage devices. CD The full form of CD is compact disc. It is an optical storage device. A CD is a thin, shiny, circular disc that can store up to 700 MB of data and its measurement are 4.7 inches in diameter. We can store text, graphics, sound, images and videos on a CD. To access data from a CD, we need to place it on the CD drive, which is located in the front panel of the CPU box. Hard disk. It is the main storage medium for computers which is fixed inside the CPU box. It can hold a large amount of data, up to 2TB to 5TB. Data is recorded on both the sides of the disk. Nowadays, portable hard disks are also available. Memory card A memory card is a storage medium for portable devices like mobiles, digital cameras and music players. These devices transfer images and files into the computer by using the memory card reader. It can be easily removed for access by a computer. DVD The full form of DVD is Digital Versatile Disk or Digital Video Disk. It is similar to a CD in shape and size but can store data 6 times more than a CD. That is from 5.1 GB to 17 GB. Blu-ray Disk it is a new optical disc format that can store 25 GB of data on a single side and 50 GB on its dual sides. The size of the Blu-ray disc is similar to a DVD but its storage capacity is 5 times more than that of a DVD. This disc has derived its name from Blu-ray disc from the blue-violet laser that is used to read and write data on it. Flash drive, which is also known as pen drive. It is a small, lightweight and removable drive. It is used for copying and moving data from one computer to another. It can store up to 1 terabyte of data. Flash drives are faster in assessing data and are more reliable. With this, we conclude our chapter number 2. For more educational videos, Kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.